I think the extent to which they're really going to take off, I think I think we still got to assess. But I think lots of people are trialing it because, and I think there's a couple of reasons why they're they're trialing it. And I think I think well, it could be really really attractive. You know, I, my understanding of NFTs is limited. I'm not a tech, technology expert by any means. But you know, where I would see the advantages in the NFTs is is a being able to capture the unique features of the ecosystem that you're trying to protect. You know, and and embody that in the token. You know, and whether that is you know, carbon or biodiversity or water, whatever it may be, they're all different from ecosystem to ecosystem. And, you know, we've been very bad about capturing that variability in forest offset projects so far. And, you know, the more information that's captured, the more accurate is going to be our sense of offsetting, that sort of stuff. So I think, you know, the ability to create really unique products relatively simply, I think, is, is, is really, really important. The other aspect where I could see them playing a real role is that incentivization of buyers to get involved into the marketplace. You know, and I think one thing that's put off, and I don't know, I, I'm certainly put off, I and I'm a sort of expert in the area, is that you know, if I go, want to go and buy a forest offset project, and I'm, you know, for company world, personal level, yeah, that you Google it, and there's a whole bunch of different companies selling you different projects in different areas with very little sense of verification very little or it's very hard and very opaque for me to verify the activities of those intermediaries and i'm not saying they're all bad by any means but you know there, there's definitely a level of opaqueness and separation between me and the and the seller and you know anything that we can do that i think can remove that disconnect and allow people to directly engage with communities on the ground and individuals on the ground I think can help demand from a couple of perspectives. You know, A, if I know who I'm buying it from, I'm not much likely to buy it. Yeah, that's sort of true for many, many products that we engage with today. Uh, and it also allows that sense of story and that sense of resonant, um, resonance to come through. And certainly when I did some different research about what was encouraging companies to engage in purchasing Red Plus projects, uh, Red Plus credits a few years ago, what, what the companies want is a story. Yeah? They want a story about what's happening on the ground that they can sell to their shareholders or their customers, whatever it is. You know, and if NFTs can help create a closer bind between the communities on the ground and the purchasers and help sense that story transmit, I can only see it as a positive thing for boosting demand. So where I would see this role, I, I see NFTs role probably less and on the sense of you know verifying that the right things are happening but more a sense of engaging more people and giving people more confidence to invest in those forest offset projects rather than being wary of okay is it going to perform who am i paying you know where's my money going to so i think from that perspective i think they could have a real role i think what's going to be interesting to see over the next couple of years and there's you know four or five of those companies that i showed up on the slides are doing tokenization of different parts of natural assets is what is the appetite out there for demand? Like it's, for me, you know, it's like many of these things, you know, NFTs and art, I don't know, this is from my layman's perspective, seem to have just gone crazy in the last like months. Yeah, it seems to be everywhere. And, and maybe that same thing is going to happen with natural assets. And I think it's really interesting time to assess how much it gets over those demand barriers. And if it doesn't, what else might we want to do to it or add to it to help overcome those barriers?